Alright guys, so today I've been contemplating actually water cooling my server. As you can see, I have um, my Dell PowerEdge uh, 2950, which is a U2 rack server. And um, I'm not entirely sure what all I'm going to be using this for. I know I'm going to be using it for storage. I've got a bunch of these really crappy salvage laptop drives and I think I'm going to put a bunch of them in RAID 1 and because um, I have six drive bays the, these two are populated with um, SAS drives which I'm using for the OS probably wouldn't hurt to put SSDs in them but I can't afford it <laughs> naturally because I'm cheap well SSDs are expensive but anyway so I have some other drives in these bays and I'm probably actually going to 3D print some uh, drive trays but besides the point I'm thinking about water cooling this for two reasons for one thing this is in my office area and um, it is really annoying to work with these four fans that are usually here I've got a couple of them right here so I have um, so these are the fans that go in here and these are small and they are super super loud not only that, but this system dumps an incredible amount of heat into the room and really the entire upstairs of my house for that matter, which means running this during the summertime when it's 100 degrees outside. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. It doesn't get quite that hot in Virginia, but um, it dumps a lot of heat and the air conditioning is struggling to keep up. It's loud. It makes this entire room just completely unusable because it's burning up in here. Um, it's not good for the machine to have it being run in such a hot room. Um, so I'm thinking about water cooling it. Well, the issue is, uh, well, a couple things. For one thing, since this chassis is so thin, you know, I can't put a radiator or anything actually inside the chassis. Of course, that would kind of defeat the purpose anyway. But um, I'm also concerned about water blocks. So my plan is maybe to make blocks you can see i have these these are the two heat sinks on the two cpus i have two quad core xeons in here and um my issue is with what am i going to do so these look like they're held in pretty easily i have taken these out in fact i can go ahead and take this one out just kind of popped up take this guy out here as you can see it's a standard socket with the heat pipe so my plan maybe um, since they seem to be attached pretty simply with these two two lips here I think that I could probably reproduce that in aluminum and then just drill a hole straight through it now um, I have a couple concerns with this for one thing trying to make these blocks I don't know how good of an idea that is there's a dust there that's disgusting um, and also the, the RAM I have eight slots and this is 16 gigabytes total, so these are 2 gigabytes each. And I'm concerned that these are going to get too hot. Um, also, my concern about how, removing these fans, I don't want to do that. I think that probably whatever I'm going to end up doing, I want to leave these fans in here to cool for cooling the hard drives and the expansion cards, even though I only have the one remote access card in here. Um, I may end up putting a network card in here uh, for faster connection with my really slow network so the network itself is going to be more of a bottleneck than this this has built-in gigabit connection which isn't really that great to begin with so i don't know i don't know about that and then also what am i going to do with the tubes so my plan here is just cool the cpus um and i'm not going to worry about the memory for now and i have these um so these are the expansion card bays I don't think I'm going to be using these slots, so probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and take these two panels off, which is pretty easy. I'm not going to do it, do it right here, but um, just take these two panels off and run the tubing out the back here is probably what I'm going to end up doing. So those are my thoughts. Leave your suggestions down in the comments if you think that I can do this any better, um, or if you think this is an alright idea in the first place. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a very nice day.